Welcome everyone. Uh, this is my first time hosting BP. Uh, uh, second time, but hosting it as a value group maintainer for the first time. So a little nervous. Hopefully you will all support me. So we will. I, I was. I, we will support you. I was nodding, <laughs> but we will. <laughs> Thank you we so much. We throw you in the deep end and then dangle a lifeline in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> Please write your name and tell how you are feeling today. And I'm noting somebody's writing meeting timing change, which I've kept it in the end as a logistic issue. So maybe we move it first. So first uh, agenda I've kept it is like, what metrics are we going to release in this cycle? I'm opening the spreadsheet right now to okay. see where we're at. And I see only the project popularity under community review. So maybe that is, is the one. Is, is that one that was an interim release and is going through the full cycle now or? I have no idea. We can check to that. I think project popularity was previously released. No? Oh, no, that was the other one. So, social look. listening is under review currently for value. That's the only one under yeah. review. And listening is on. So, is that in the spreadsheet, Kevin? I call it. Social. It's called contributor development influence. I think when I go to the link. So social listening is the old uh, SCM. They yeah. re they renamed it. Uh, I don't know if it's in the spreadsheet. Let me look. I'm on, I'm on value, and all I see is project popularity, reputation, which is now called contributor development influence. When I click the link. I wonder if it's the right link. Good development. <coughs> it is the contributor development link and project reputation. So uh, can someone share I that think... spreadsheet link with me? I'm having trouble finding it. It's at the top of the meeting yeah. minutes. Oh, thank you. Yeah. yeah, that's somebody went through and did that for all the meeting minutes, and I appreciate them. I've added them as my bookmarks. So, all related to chaos stuff, I've created a separate folder, and all the bookmarks are there in the chaos related. So, I don't need to find them. And uh, there's a one share of voice in progress. So project popularity under community review. So if we go to the if we go to the GitHub repo, are there metrics in there that are under community review? Doesn't look like it. Social listening is there. And that's the that's the only one that should be under review according to according to my knowledge. Yeah. So we gotta get these things aligned. Uh, I will say, uh, I'm not sure how much this group has met over the past uh, month and a half because of the Looking holidays. At, so it's met uh, regularly. Um, I mean, there were at least two to three weeks off over the over the holidays. Okay. And, then, and the one the one time we met, like it was like the day before we were about ready to go on break. Remember when we talked about yeah. cooking and recipes? Yeah. It was yeah, nice. It but... was. So, <laughs> so social listening is now called social. That's, I'm sorry. So it's changed name to social list. I see, but it's listed as released. So, but its real status is it's an interim release that'll go through formal review now. Yeah, yeah. It's already on the website. It's ready for the formal review process. Okay. Uh, there. I just changed it in the spreadsheet. Okay. And then project, project popularity. Popular. Yeah. That is not under review. 
Is there even, so the, the link in the sheet is just a Google Doc. Is there even a markdown for it? Uh, I don't think so. No. So is that is that one of the, I, I was trying to look through the community handbook this morning before sending you an email about how to prepare things for release, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> It, uh, the community handbook maybe needs some edits on that. Uh, if it's we don't have to discuss that here, I'll send you an email because it's not directly related to this group. Or you can so, tell me about it. No, no. Uh, send, send me an email. It the it probably needs uh, it probably needs some edits. So I've been I'll I'll think about that. Okay. I'm, when I click social currency metric system, it is taking me to the chaos website and I'm seeing 404 error. Mm. Uh, this one. So You're doing that on the website? Yeah, the link is under community review, uh, row 46. And if you click the link, it's for the chaos website. And over there, I see 404 error. In the spreadsheet. The link in yes, the in, yeah, yeah. That, that yes. was that was that. Oh yeah, it is. So Perfect. there was a name change. Remember, it's easy enough to fix. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So the actual link on the website is there. here. I'll just. I'll just I just put it in. Oh, sorry. Beauty. That's okay. Yeah. Okay, so this is good that we're getting this all straightened mm -hmm. out because uh, I have a kind of a larger question for the value group once we kind of get this organized. Okay, so is there anything else that's... I mean, contributor development influence looks pretty well developed. Like if I look, like when I click the link, like it might be ready for a review. We need, looks like we need some visualizations. Uh, project development and usage is not ready. And this is project popularity, right? Or project development and usage, I'm sorry. I think you were looking, oh. I was looking at a different one. Contributor development influence. Yeah, which was project popularity previously. And I don't know if it's with these, when it says we change it to now called, I don't know if we want to just like, I guess that's fine. Well, call it, call it that, <laughs> just, just, just. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, at some, at some point, I mean. Well, we one, may as well just change it now, as yeah. opposed to saying, please see column yeah. to the right for the actual name. Yeah. I mean, I, mean, I think the way, in, as a process, it's probably helpful to do it this way for a period of time, so people who know it by one name. Maybe we switch the it. switch the I columns, don't. so the actual name is in B, and then in C we say what hap what the edit was, right? Like, the artist hey, formerly known as Prince. Yeah. 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 Rather, this week's album is 1999. Not if anyone's uh, noticed, but I have an album behind me every week now. Should we call it it's like a, uh, contributor development influence? That is what it's called. So probably, probably, yeah. We'll have to straighten out the language and the text because the text still talks about popularity and popularity of a project. But the question is about influence of a contributor. So we'll have to align those. Mm -hmm. So just to be real clear here, so we have contributor development influence and project development usage. And we have project development usage and usage that I think Sean was talking about. Yeah, project development and usage and contributor development influence both look like they're developed as metrics. Uh, I guess what's missing is visualization. No, there are. Yeah, I mean, I think they're developed. These two could be put under review with some edits. So what like, is the okay? So it looks like uh, to me. So hold so on we, a second. We don't have. A, I mean, we only have a few days really before the freeze. Is 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 it worth trying to rush these through, 
or should no. we maybe think about kind of slowing down? <laughs> you said yes. No, I said no. no. Well, I mean, uh, can, well, we did I, an evolution as we just finished a couple that were under long consideration in the meeting. Can I, but we can I just finish my points here, thought but. here for a second? Okay, so, so we have project development and usage, which mm -hmm. seems to be the argument was that it seems to be pretty well aligned. So maybe this is a candidate to be part of this release that we could work on it today, or we could work on it asynchronously. If I come back here, we have contributor development influence and we have it here again. So we have it twice. Both the so, links I think point to the same directory. So okay, we so we can, just... we can get rid of one row, yes. right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay, so project development and usage is this it's a it's a mega metric but we've released those before that's a really confusing name i mean it's really it's a, it's a it's an it's an, uh, another synthetic metric that takes a, a metrics that exist elsewhere and okay. assembles them together into uh, so why is development in the title? Is this if it's just capturing usage? Why are we talking about development? Oh, hold on, can I can I oh, just sorry, finish ahead. my all thought right. for a second? We're I'm just trying to you all. Day. I'm just going to try. I'm trying to get through like two <laughs> metrics. <laughs> so, okay. So let me. So we have contributor. We have project development and usage, and again, that one seems to be pretty well along, irrespective of the name at this point. Yeah. So we can sort this out. We also have contributor okay. development influence. Yes. And this one doesn't seem to be quite as far along. It seems like it needs a little bit more attention. So a little, maybe yeah. so maybe the proposal would be is if we do want to have a value metric that's part of the release. We take the one project development and usage and kind of focus on this to start. Mm -hmm. And then perhaps we may not have time, but maybe next time around, we could start concentrating on 48, row 48. Does that make sense to people? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm changing the color yes. coding in this right now, by the way. Okay. Yeah. Oh, not ready. That's the, this is the accurate color coding, right? So the, the only one that's being worked on is this one. Project development and usage. Right. And that's right. So, so we, we're advancing it for release. Uh, the others are ready to be worked on. Uh, share of the share of voice, is that the same up top? In, in organizational value? Share of voice? Yeah. I don't. I don't think so. Oh, in terms of just where it's pending, at. It's pending in rather than in progress. Yeah, let's call it pending. I like that better. Okay. Didn't all go blue, but whatever. That's weird. This is a little weird. So this is also in like the, quite a developed shape, I guess share of voice if you just open the link because this link is in the md not in the google doc but it has all the details i guess just take a look at it maybe so the link is to hack hackmd.io what is that yeah yeah so i've met uh, uh, instead of putting it on the google doc he directly put it on the this hackmd.io for editing and like just creating a markdown file from it. Why don't I move this over to a Google Doc just to be consistent? Yes. Would people be okay yes. with that? Yeah, I okay. guess so. All right, so I'll, I'm going to go mute and do that for a second here. And you guys, you all can work on maybe thinking about project development and usage. Yeah. We should spend like five, seven minutes and go through this. It's see if there is anything we can
just doing some undrafted edits at the very bottom for the base metrics to can make it work in Markdown. This is formatting. Although we're using numbering elsewhere. Actually, it looks like a repeat of what's above it. crossing that out because it's uh, redundant with what's below. Here, move to implementation, okay. Yep, exactly. Got it. Concept of. The thing I edited above me just need to go away as well, your objectives. You just want you want to change the metric name to project usage, Kevin? Uh, yeah, I think so. But I should we should keep in mind that uh, uh, this entire metric is basically project popularity, and we're using it as a proxy to understand project usage. Right. So it's I'm kind of I'm kind of combined. uncomfortable with it altogether right now. Uh, I mean, it combines a, a number of metrics and we would be so wise. Is project popularity a proxy for usage or are we or are we just measuring a a broad, it's engagement. A broad it's, popularity or engagement right and i think the when i was reading through it um i think the intention is it's developer engagement it is there's a development component that you know it's 
our developers, our people contributing code and other things to this project and how many of them and how often and how has that changed from period A to period B. And it gives you a, a comprehensive view of many atomic metrics, which is different than, I mean, we've done this in this working group before. I guess I would be, I would be more comfortable calling it developer engagement. And then in the description, we talk about project popularity, uh, usage and development activity as a, uh, as indicators of this activity together. I feel like these three, four terms are confusing a lot, like popularity, engagement, usage, development. Yeah. Um, we need to pick a word. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, if you look at the, if you look at the implementation, the popularity stuff is the uh, stars, the, uh, you could even call forks, popularity, how many followers, uh, the usage is downstream utilization, which would be really hard to capture, uh, engagement stuff, we're looking at the number of contributors, the number of issues, the number of pull requests, uh, I mean, is it, I don't, actually, it's not even really developer engagement. This is kind of, this is project, uh, this is kind of the size of a project, right? So, and because we can't, because we can't really say a project is large, medium, small, we're just kind of looking at this, we're, we're kind of judging the, the size of the project by the activity that's associated with it. Um, here, what do you think? I'm also thinking that we're struggling with the name of what it, na pointing the finger at what is it exactly that we're measuring. It has something to do with the popularity of a project, has something to do with how much it's being used, how much is being actively done on the project. And even the size of the project even. Or the size of the project, yeah. yeah so, I, I don't think it's clear what this metric is. They're all woven together. And when we started chaos, we wanted to separate them out. And that's why we have started defining smaller metrics. Now with this, as Sean calls it, synthetic metric, we are putting the pieces back together. And what we need to do, in my opinion, is put a frame around it. So either we decide to go down the path of project popularity, and then we just say everything that is being done is a pointer towards popularity, and we have to find a rationale for why, or usage, or size. and. From a value perspective, the angle that makes most sense to me is either popularity or usage. And I don't, uh, I don't know that it fits usage completely. Uh, it fits popularity closer. Uh, but what is? But I'm not even. But I'm not sure why popularity would even be an important metric. If we look at the implementation, the things that the things that we're seeing here, it might answer for me, it might answer questions like how large is this project or how important is this project? Uh, I don't care. I don't know that I would care how popular the project is and it's not going to tell me usage. So maybe the popularity, if we look at the popularity from in, per, in perspective of marketing, like how much it is seen on the Google search or even in the marketing area, like where it's, this project has been publicized a lot. So those are, those are different metrics that we'd be adding though. So there, yes. there'd be different implementations if we were looking at that. Uh, so once again, the, like the implementations that we have don't align with what we say we are measuring. Right. Uh, 
So the, what I remember Matt Broberg sharing is that project popularity is used as a shortcut, as a proxy or a heuristic for deciding which projects to use, which projects to fund, which projects to engage with. And because there is a positive feedback loop of more popularity, more users, more developers, more funding equals more popularity, there is this value that popularity brings by itself. So the richer get richer, the large projects get larger. So okay, so what I'm hearing is this metric should be called project popularity. And then in the description, we should be saying that project popularity may be used as a proxy to better understand usage or maybe other things that are hard to measure. Yeah, well, I mean, as, as much as it might pain us, popularity matters. <laughs> All by yeah. itself. All right. Well, let's <laughs> not, e not even as a proxy. So, okay. So I'm fine with that. So that makes sense because then mm -hmm. we're the uh, everything is connected again. So I think I think we yeah. became disconnected with the uh, the development and usage uh, part. Yeah, and I just I think this metric can just aim right at popularity. It can be things like stars. It can be things like retweets. <laughs> it can be or you know, social media mentions. It can be um, the size of an event. I don't, you know, whatever, whatever the metrics might be. The, if I remember correctly, the reason we separated popularity out was because there are the popularity of users, like C curl is in pretty much every open source Linux distro. But then from a development perspective, it's one developer. So the popularity is different from a usage and from a development perspective. But we don't have to separate that out here. We can just say there is such a thing as project popularity. Here are the different ways you can look at it. I like that. Yeah. I think value might actually be, that might be too broad.
there a reason the question can't just be how popular is a project? I think we're back there. I mean, I think we've come full circle now. Um, So it looks like Matt, you and I are currently going back and forth on whether or not to include number off. Yeah, because like section. just yeah, just like issues by itself. I assume that it, it's open the issues closed are the actual metrics. Yeah, is it a count of them? Is it? I think as a first implementation, just counting number off. Okay. I just moved issues up by pull requests just because they're kind of the same. But. That's, yep. um, we call them reviews. What seems to oh, be yeah. missing yep. are filters or, or no, change, we don't change, change requests. Yes, change requests. However, yeah, I don't see any filters for time or um, parameters for time. It seems like that is really important for this metric. Yep, uh, I was talking to a venture capitalist and he says that what they're looking for are the trends. So time yeah. is very important. Yeah, I mean, everything is trends. And they do look at all of these numbers. And I'm okay with this list. Um, yeah, I'm okay with this list. <laughs> I guess that's all I'll say.
hello, Stephen, by the way. Better late than never. That's right. Wiser words have never been spoken. Although maybe there are some things I'd rather be on the on the never side. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Instead of writing number of for everywhere, we just write number of in the start and then list down these things. The only thing that was a blocker was the size of events. It can't be the number of size of events. <laughs> <laughs> the number of sizes. Of, yeah, I mean, oh, there you go. Large, extra large. So there, now you can get rid of t-shirt order. And I can get rid of all number of's. Sorry, Georg. Yep. Why'd you do that? Oh, you just did a find and replace. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Save us time. <laughs> Of these, so change requests is a thing. Are any of yeah. these others are metrics that are defined? Shall we link them? Yeah, we could. Let me go look. I'm just going to go to the website. This is not. Issues, issues Certainly. new, yeah, or active maybe. I don't know. We have, we have new, active, and closed. I want to say, I think the issues new is the. I did that one. I believe that's the, like the definitive, this is an issue. So I just did. Yeah. Contributors. Forks, forks would be super easy to define. We don't Spurs have it. Really easy to define. Uh, followers would be really easy to define. I'll put that down as an action item for you for each one of them. <laughs> and I see there's a fork visual from Cauldron. Yo, can you add to that? This is like due date by November 21st, past due. Uh, 
Oh, just remove it. Okay. So could we use for organizations contributing? We do have organizational diversity. Yeah, yeah, I think that one would fit. Just to let you know, everyone, we have three minutes left. Okay. When does the window close for metrics, Kevin? 31st, technically. That is correct. Okay. I'm assuming he read that in the uh, the well-documented uh, handbook on, on release. No, I just remember setting that date like a long time ago. And it's stuck I'm, in my head. I'm just joking. I'm, I'm sure that's not in the uh, handbook. So, so here's a weird question kind of outlying that might be um, might be more common later. So um, what's what's the NSF effort the the digital public goods yes consortium effort right So they just had a kind of like doc analysis a thon where they wanted to crowdsource um, a group of people who would look at the applications to be accepted for consideration as a digital public good and the standards by which those projects would meet right they wanted to crowdsource the cross referencing to make sure that potential DPGX was actually following the form on their submission or had checked all the boxes on their submission. And, and to encourage these kinds of contributions for a window of time, they were offering a, a coin of some cryptocurrency. I cannot remember, um, but I can find the, the post. I mean, in addition to stars, are we gonna have to at some point track coins earned or coins generated. I mean, coins are value for what it's worth. Um, I don't know how much of an outlier it is now and whether it'll stay an outlier or not, but um, give me a second. I'll drop a link into the chat that shows what they were doing. Uh, let's see. I think Stephen also put in badges, which is. Yeah, the Mozilla, mm -hmm. like Fedora mm -hmm. has Fedora badges that we, we helped them build that was based on the Mozilla open badges. That's another stars -y kind of thing. Um, yeah, so they, they did it as, the, the, it was a Gitcoin bounty that they were offering. If you, um, so I, I think in terms of this metric, we probably don't have to capture everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I, I, I hedged a little bit on the sentence and the implementation. I said, there's numerous example vectors <laughs> to consider. Yep. <laughs> which, yep. <laughs> which can help take care of that. And we're past the meeting time and I do need to use the time in between this and my next meeting. So, okay. Uh, yeah. See you all later. I can Thank I can you, hang sir. out for a couple more minutes since I came late before my twelve o'clock meeting starts. <laughs> real real quick, did we want to did we want to talk about potentially moving the meeting? I know uh, Stephen had uh, uh, voiced a, a conflict for this meeting. Yeah, you know, or or two or three. Um, there there are multiple. 
I, I guess the real the real conflict is that um, the the impact academic group meets on alternating second Thursdays in this time slot. So if if there was a way to move one or the others of those up an hour or onto the other two weeks, it would be easier for me to hop on. Yeah. But I don't want to be my tail wagging the dog either. We can probably stop the recording yeah. while I figure this out. So we can doesn't doesn't everyone want to know about my schedule?